Hey, what's going on everybody? We are live and today I'm going to share with you secrets uh, of successful training programs and most people don't know or grasp this concept and once I share it with you, hopefully you can change, you can make this change how you approach exercising and fitness. Uh, so before I get into this, I have a little demo that I want to show you, but before I get into that, um, I want to share with you something that's important to know about the brain. The brain is a pattern recognition and pattern creation mechanism. And so if you're dealing with back pain, it's because you've created a pattern that is creating the back pain. We get good at being in pain. So we're doing something, we, we're doing something repeatedly that is causing the stress. And so we can reverse that. All we have to do is do the opposite and create a pattern that creates strength, resilience, suppleness of the discs, etc. And so I'm going to show you that here. So your brain is a pattern recognition machine and a pattern creation machine. And an example of this is if you have a desk job and you sit down at a desk every single day, you're going to put pressure on your discs and your core is going to get weaker and your hips are going to get tighter and you're going to feel worse and worse and worse because your body was designed to move and it was actually designed to move a lot. So if you're sitting at a desk all day, you're not activating your abs, your hips are getting tight which attach to your lower lumbar spine, your lower back gets weaker, there's compression on the discs now and now you go to do your normal activities we're putting wear and tear on the discs faster and then you combine that with eating foods that are inflammatory, not taking care of your health, not hydrating enough, you are going to end up in a situation where your body starts to break down. And that's really what degenerative disc disease, it's not a disease, it's just the body is aging faster because the body's not getting what it needs. So when you learn these simple techniques of exercising, then you can consistently make results in the positive direction rather than starting something and then stopping it which is what we see with people who have new year's resolutions with people who you know they start a program and then they say oh this is too difficult and then they stop because people have expectations that are too high or they don't know what direction to go so real quick let's go over this now this model is what's called a uh, super compensation model. So say you were to come into me and I tested your base level of fitness, right? This would be your base level, let's say. Everybody has their own separate base level of fitness, right? Some people might be up here, other people might be down here. But say I started to test you out to see where you were in terms of your strength and conditioning. While you're exercising, you're actually fatiguing the body. The results don't come at that moment in time. It actually comes later. So you're fatiguing the body. You know, sometimes you push people till they're completely fatigued. That's not ideal. You want to reach a point of a happy medium. So they fatigue. Then when they go home, they eat, sleep, drink water, etc. And then your body recovers at a better state. It's what's super, called super compensation. And you have to train in this period again to see your base level improve. If you push too hard, too soon, and you exhaust yourself, it's going to take a lot longer to recover. And the likelihood of you repeating it, remember like creating a pattern, goes down. So the stimulus must be just enough for you to feel good that you get change to occur to the body. So you want that change to occur so you feel a couple days later, wow, I feel stronger, I feel better. Now you want to repeat the process. You exercise with a little bit more stimulus because you're at a better fitness level and then it goes down again and then the next time it goes up and then it repeats until you're in shape. And now, so if you're suffering from back pain, how does this relate to you? Well, just starting an exercise program is going to benefit the back. So if I was talking about not moving being an issue with the back, slight movement starting out to not overdo it because most likely your core is weak, most likely your hips are tight, most likely you're activating the wrong muscle patterns. There's actually 
a sequence that you want to fire certain muscles coming from the brain and a lot of times these are all out of whack. People who are sitting all day, they have what's called glute amnesia. It means they don't know how to fire their glutes, right? Because they've been sitting all day in, in a position that has allowed the glute to just completely uh, be inconsequential when it's one of the most important muscles for your body but also for your back. If you're not firing your glutes, you're going to have back pain. So this is where we start off with our back pain relief program is firing the glutes because this neural connection reconnects you to a part of your body that's extremely important. So what we do is we start to strength from the base level and then you're able to do regular exercises, right? For example, if you have uh, really tight hip flexors, the discs are, are very, um, they're impacted, right? There's a lot of compression and you start going right into squats, sometimes you can make it worse. So that's why we wanna mobilize the hips, decompress the spine, strengthen the area around the discs, get the nerves firing correctly, then go into a strength and conditioning program where you can really see progress in a fit health and fitness level where you will never have to deal with back pain again. And I can tell you this from 15 years of experience of having people come in who can't walk, who don't have the ability to do normal movements because they're in such pain. And then we take them from that and in a few sessions their pain is gone, but now they're excited because they have a new future. And when their pain is gone, they have the ability to free up space in their mind to think about other things. And that's where we take them through a general fitness program where they start to strengthen their core more, their glutes, their legs, their body. And before they know it, they lost 20, 30 pounds and uh, they're lifting heavy weights without pain, right? So that is really the goal. And that's really what most people want. They don't even know it. They think, I just want to get out of pain. Well, getting out of pain is just a pattern thing. It's like, stop doing the thing that's causing the pain and start doing the things that are going to prevent the pain. And that's where we start with the back pain relief for life program. It's like, do this, you'll get out of pain, and then we'll go to the next level. So this is the super compensation model. Um, there's five principles in program design that I usually teach my trainers, but uh, this incorporates in everything here, and actually I did videos on all of those that I can upload to you guys on this channel to break down each principle, because you may want to know it. The more you know about your body, the more you know about exercise and how to exercise to enhance your body, the better off you are in general, the more your back pain is going to be reduced, the longer your life will be because there's a direct correlation between the amount of lean muscle you have and your longevity of life. And if you're suffering from back pain, the chances of you putting on lean muscle is very slim. So the first step is always going to be to get out of pain, to get out of that pattern that is creating the pain, and then you can start to move forward on building lean muscle gaining more strength so that you can do the things you enjoy like picking up your grandkids or you know hobbies that you might be missing out on like soccer football basketball whatever it might be that you want to go out and do gardening that's preventing you from doing that we want to make sure that you're able to do that in the future so um, i'd love to hear where you're checking in from go ahead and leave a comment um, you know what's going on with your back your body uh, maybe we can help you out through the comment section, where you're checking in from, what location. Uh, yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. Hope this helps. Have a great day.